Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. Today I am back with my brother, Rolf, who's been on a walkabout. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been busy, really, really busy. Where'd you go? Busy, but all over the place. I've been out in California. I've been down to Chicago. I've been working most of the time though. Yeah. It's well, you took your son out to Santa Barbara. In Santa Barbara, so I spent about 10 days out there when I probably shouldn't have because we were shorthanded, but uh, I made it back and got right back in the routine again. Well, just guess what? The restaurant's still there. It's still there and still running. Even though Ralph was gone, yep. we're still standing. It didn't fall apart. That's right. Yep. That's why you should take more time off. Probably should. It's hard for us to think that I way. I know it is. Oh, well. But we have a day off today because we're going to be cooking. Door County Girl episode. Yep. Woo. Ooh. 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 Today, what are we making? We are going to make blueberry soup and we're going to serve it with a dollop of uh, sort of a creme fraiche, a whipped cream with yogurt. Okay. Ralph loves cold soups because well, when he used to go on the cruise ships, you always, always got ordered the, the cold soup. Cold soups. Okay, but now this one has, uh, it's kind of a two for because you can serve this in the summertime, cold, when it's hot out, when it's delicious, and when it's cold out you can serve it hot and we're going to make it so you're going to enjoy it hot today and we can cool some for a later day okay. but what's ni nice about this is um, in the winter time kids can make this you can make it with frozen blue blueberries you can make it with fresh blueberries here i got fresh today you can puree it and you can run it through a sieve. I like to leave them whole. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll even add more blueberries yeah, like to it in the very end. In That's there. how this one is going to be. Yeah. What do you so. call that? Like a little skin in there. Yep. Look yep. how big these blueberries yeah, these, are. These are actually, Holy cow. Uh, I, I've been getting European uh, blueberries lately because that's just the season. Mm -hmm. But these actually come from Peru and they're all organic, no pesticides. They're fantastic. Excellent. And they're very juicy. And this is blueberry season, right? It is, right at the end. Yep. And remember in Sweden, don't they have that thing called All Man's Day? Yeah. Where they can go out and forage and get whatever they want that's wild. And they can camp on the land for up to two days. This is a popular, I've looked up with some um, camping videos where the guys are in Sweden. They pick up the blueberries or lingonberries or even rose hips because rose hips are coming in. And rose hips, you know, is in like similar soup. Remember, it's I love nippon rose hips. Soppa. Nippon soppa. So and my this mom is... would make nippon soppa out of rose hips. And we, we would never eat it cold. It's better hot with a dollop of French vanilla ice cream in it. Yep, this is gonna take the place of that French vanilla ice cream and I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's okay. got a little tang to it. Well, so. let's, let's go, All I'm right. excited. So I'm gonna put the blueberries, it's one pint in here with about three quarters a cup of water. The recipe will be on, it's out of the way. And we're gonna boil this. Okay. So. And while that's boiling, oh, we're going to add, uh, I believe it's two tablespoons of sugar. Yep. And we're just going to let that boil and break down a little bit. And meanwhile, you... And then you forgot the... Nope, that goes in the very end when it gets boiling. So oh. I'm going to add potato flour in the very okay. end. That's going to thicken it up. And then why don't you use cornstarch? Oh, because... I'm a big fan of this product right here. You can get another brand, I think, in the grocery stores. We sell this brand. Potato starch flour is more forgiving on hot soups, hot sauces, hot gravies. You can reheat it, you can bring it to a boil. Corn starch is an excellent product as well, but it doesn't handle the heat as well. So if you have a choice of one or the other to use for everything, I'd go for the potato flour. Good tip, people. So, tip from Rolf. So you okay. are going to make the cream excellent. for this. So you're going to put that whipping cream in there and whip it up. A bit good. Do I not add that? Not yet. Okay. All right. Ralph might have to tell a story Just while I'm this doing this. Bit. So, how I got, oh, you want to push this button up here. Yep. You can tell I don't cook much. This one? This right here. Okay. Oh, See there that? we go. Yeah. Hold yep. this at an angle so it doesn't splash Whoa, all over you. Oh, get your finger out of there. 
Move it around, just like oh, you're I doing a whisk. I see you gave me the splattering one. I gotta have to slow her down a little. You can slow that thing down. Okay, well tell a story or something. Quit watching me. Well, I was gonna say, this blueberry soup is very popular with a race in Sweden that they have every year. I believe it is the first Sunday in March, or maybe it's the last Sunday in March. You'd have to double check me on that. And it goes back to uh, one of the kings. So it's called, uh, I believe it's called the, uh, the Vasa race. I'm not 100% sure. But to this day, they fill flasks with warm blueberry soup. And that's an energy uh, supplement for them while they race. So they carry these flasks with them. Or at way stations along the way or rest stations, they can get themselves a bowl of blueberry soup. There, of course, they would serve it warm. I think you're looking pretty good there. So let's add okay. these ingredients. So you're going to need, this is two tablespoons of sugar. And you're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then go ahead and scrape this yogurt in. This is a full whole milk yogurt. You could use a Greek yogurt, but you really want something that's going to be full flavored yogurt. Don't go for the fat free. This is also can be used as an excellent dessert. And it's so fast and easy to make. And again, I, I, I recommend doing this with kids because it gives them an opportunity to make something with simple ingredients. How ca why, why was I laughing? It's called quark. Well, I, yeah, I think that's a Finnish name for it. I'm not 100% sure. Now go ahead and fold all that in. Quark is another name for the yogurt, I guess. Or a type of yogurt, I, I'm of guessing. Yogurt. Yeah. Okay, I'm folding it all in. I would go ahead and use that whisk again so we get some more get whipping more. action of the, of the cream. Okay, I will. Let me just get see how it's almost like a sour cream? Yeah. And if you take a look at these blueberries. Whoa. They're getting a little wild over here. They're getting a very pretty color. And this is actually another trick for this one is it's almost the start of a blueberry pie. And you could, if you were wanting to do something gluten free, of course you just wouldn't make the pie crust. So we're going to turn this heat down to this a simmer. I think you're looking perfect right there. Right there. I wouldn't do All anything right. else. So now we're going to take the potato flour and we're going to add it to this and just stir it in. Nothing more. And it's going to thicken up. Mm, it smells good. This stuff smells good. Mrs. Hickey would be proud of me, Rob. Look at me cleaning up. We are going to add a little cold water to that just to temper it down a bit. Jeez, I got a little messy. Clean up, clean up. I like a tidy ship, Ralph. I like a tidy ship. Well, my staff knows I always say, I like a tidy ship, people. Clean is clean, dirty is dirty. No in between. See, How's I made. It it's good. I made a slight mistake here. What you should have done, I should have done, is I should have made that a paste of the uh, of, of, of the of the potato flour. So, what would you suggest then, instead of applying? Well, it in I there? shouldn't apply. I should have made a little paste of it first, but that's it's an easy fix. We're going to do this. So, if you do me a favor and measure out. Uh, what does I call for a tablespoon of that? One tablespoon? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I love it when we mess up because you always have an easy fix. Well. So I bet people at home flub up all the time. Okay, so. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put that in a little dish of water right here. This will work. Oh, so you melt it all up real good. Yeah, just put this in there. And 
I'll stir this up with a So you just add a little water to yeah, it. Yeah, we're just we're little... really making a paste. I should have said make a slurry is what I should have said. Well, because when you put it in there it made a little lump, right? Right. I took those lumps out and we just redid this here. So oh, now that's it's working. Much better, yep. much better. Now it's working exactly what we want it to do. Okay. That looks yummy. And now as it thickens up, as it cooks, normally you would take it off and you would cool it. Okay. That would be good on like pancakes. It would be good on a lot of things. But what or we're going to do toast. is I'm going to add a couple more blueberries in the very end. Just because I like the lumpy blueberries in there. Okay. It's like when you have beef stew or vegetable beef soup, you have little chunks of things in there. Little vegetables or this is fruit chunks. Oh, you don't just add this to it, you nope, add it you're later? Gonna, you're going to put a glop of it right oh. in the middle. Oh. Well, it's going to be hot. Look at how nice that looks. But I want you to try it. Okay. Of course I will. <laughs> First I'm going to try this because I just want to, I'm curious. I think it's blueberry. No, I make, I make this a little bit on the tart side. I don't add as much sugar because mm. there's sugar in here. You can control it by the uh, amount of blueberries you like put cram. in here. Tastes like cram. Like my mom makes. Creme and milk. Cram and milk. Yes, a fruit, fruit kind of thing like this with milk. We put I milk think on this it. is really good. This sort of like creme fraiche thing. Mmm. Okay, the the creme fraiche <laughs> makes all the difference. It does. Well, you know what's nice? It this is tart. This is tart. Because I use half the amount of sugar. And then there's sugar in here, and this is sweet. So actually, it's putting a little sweetness in there, and you don't need the double sweetness. Right. Yeah. And, and what's nice about this, too, if you want to serve it as a dessert, you might want to serve it cold. You could put this in the refrigerator, that in the refrigerator, and that'll hold up very well. And again, one gallop on there, and you can pre-make these ahead of time. Mm -hmm. But mm. now, if... I'm imagining if the skiers, the story I told you about the skiers, mm -hmm. if they were to use this, they would probably puree it because they're going to put it in a flask and carry it with them. So they could drink it. Exactly. It's almost a drink then. Mm, I liked it. Blueberries in there. Mm -mm. This has a little tang because of the yogurt too. Yes. And actually, I like this stuff, so I'm putting more in mine. I like whipped cream. Well, wow, this is a simple recipe, It is Rolf. a very simple recipe. And like I said, if you want to put some more fresh blueberries in there, you can do that, too. What made you think of this recipe? You know, I was thinking of Nippon Sapa. Because oh. my neighbor, Caleb Johnson, remember him? Yep. He liked Rolf, but not me. <laughs> I don't know why. A lot of people feel that way. This didn't like me because I didn't mow my lawns. <laughs> Settle down about your lawns, people. It's better to let it go wild. But uh, Caleb used to have a beautiful rose garden, right? Yep, I remember. And he used to always pick the, uh, the rose hips in the fall, and he made homemade Nippon Sapa. So we're going to have to try that on one of these Did Door County. Did he give County you some? Event. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Much better than, well, different than the Ixtroms that we sell. We used to sell, and I don't know if you still get that he once He never in gave a while. me any. No, of course not. He gave me that and beer after I mowed his lawn. You just mowed his lawn just so you could get Nippon and Sapa and beer. And beer. <laughs> well, this is absolutely fabulous. What are you calling it? Well, blueberry soup? Blueberry soup, but uh, in Swedish it's uh, it blåtberry soppa. Blåt. Blåtberry soppa. Blåtbar soppa. And they have another berry, I think it's called a bilberry, that people use as well. But we call it, for, we call it blueberries are very similar. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Really, really good, people. This would be even yummy for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Instead of having oatmeal, or you could put this in your oatmeal. And think about it. It's water mm. and blueberries. Think of the, the people on the health thing. It's antioxidants as well. Oh, yeah. What do you always say when we go on trips and somebody has a little stomach issue? Go for the dried blueberries. Dried blueberries. It does a help. world of wonder. And it's true. It does work. All right. Well, I think that ends our blueberry... Tasty soup episode. We'll let the rest of this cool and we'll enjoy it cold tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, I think Bill would like to have some here. He should have it when it's still warm. Yeah, we better right. get we better be done with this so he can. All right. Get up. 
Well, thanks everyone for joining us for this blueberry soup recipe and another episode of Door County Girl. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom of the page. And, and honestly, give this a try, especially with kids, on how simple that was, how easy that was. Told, the kids would love this. You can do it in five minutes. And any fruit. Any fruit will work, really. Any but, fruit. But blueberries are what we're using today, and uh, I love blueberries. It's really I think my favorite apples fruit. would be really good right now you because it's apple season. You can make it apple, apple season. Clam, yeah. yeah. Boil, boil it down, break it down. All right. Experiment. Well, hey do, hey do everyone. Hey, hey. See you next time. I need to have a little more of this. Just put a little bit in there. That's so good. That good. Yum, yum. I, this stuff is fantastic. I could eat this whole bowl of just this. <laughs> Can I lick the bowl? No. Ah. I need to build a bowl here. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Thank you.